night. Date night. Tonight on Game Night Date Night, Nikki and myself, Lincoln, are going to teach and show you how to play the two-player game Watergate, designed by Matthias Kramer and published by Capstone Games and Frosted Games. Let's see if Nixon can make it to the end of his term this time. Welcome to Game Night Date Night, where Lincoln and I are going to show you and teach you how to play the two-player game Watergate. Lincoln, why don't you give us a little history and an overview of the game? Sure. In the run-up to the 1972 election, there was a break-in by five men at the Democratic National Headquarters in the Watergate Hotel, and the subsequent investigation headed by the Washington Post reporters uh, Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein t that led to the um, uh, reveal that the Nixon administration had involved themselves in this break-in. Okay. In the game, we are each playing one each side of the um, the this investigation. Okay. Where I I will be playing the Nixon administration, trying to prevent the Washington Post from discovering the ed the editorial staff of the Washington Post from discovering the connection, making the connections between uh, the informants and myself represented on this board, and um, we will. It's basically a tug of war type of a game, and Nikki's going to show us how it plays. Ha. <laughs> Okay. Most of the tug of war that happens in this game happens on this um, track right here called the research track. You start out at the zero position. There is a um, initiative token, which is white, and a momentum uh, token, which is red. There's only one initiative, and there are several red uh, uh, momentum tokens. Throughout the a round of play, you are trying to drag these tokens to your side of the board to to win them by the end of the round. Win control of them, uh, essentially. Win yes. control yes. of them by the end of the round. Okay, Lincoln just drew out three evidence tokens and placed them face down. As Nixon, he, at the beginning of each round of play, he will draw three, he will look at them, I will not, I don't know what they are, but I want to get these, um, I want to drag these to my side of the track as well. So I can complete with these evidence tokens a clear path of two, and I'll get into it, informants and the evidence back to Nixon. That's actually my win condition right. for the game. I'll explain how these get onto the board through um, the manipulation of these decks of cards. We each have our own deck of cards. Lincoln has his um, confidential cards, and I have my Washington Post cards. The um, cards for both of us are going to have events. So I'm going to draw a few. All right. The thing that is different between our two decks is he has conspirators and I have journalists. On these cards, um, there are some different actions you can take. I'll start in the upper corner here on all of these. They happen to all be green, uh, blue, but I'll, I'll pull well, out. That's, that's wild there. I'll pull out one of those. Um, they're going to be in the three colors that you can see on this board, which is yellow, green, and blue um, up here. That is what these are uh, look like on the other side. I can choose to use that part of the card, which is called the value part. Um, these all happen to be threes, except this one's a two. If I want to move an evidence towards me right now because it's face down, I would have to ask Nixon's administration if any of these are, let's say, blue. He would check and he has to tell me the truth. <laughs> Even though we don't want to because you of the don't truth want to. That's right. So there you go. And then I would get to move it on my track three spaces because um, this has blue on it. Now, mo most of these are going to be only one color, but some of them do have two colors on them. Some of them actually have a wild on them, which is represented by the three colors. He actually has some wilds as well. Um, Meaning I get to choose whichever one I want to move, Which right? you can choose whichever one you want to move if you're going to do that action, which is moving that stuff towards you. Right. Now, if none of these had been the correct color, he would tell me no, 
I'm sorry, uh, none of these are blue. <laughs> in which case, I still get an action from this card. I could move one of the two of these tokens my direction on the track three. So I could choose to move a momentum um, one, two, th and three towards me. The other thing I could do, choose to do with a card instead of taking any of these actions here is I can choose to do the event. This um, particular event has me put out an informant from um, this pile, as long as it's here in the pile. There are things that Nixon can do that will take an informant out of this pile um, for me to do. Um, some of these have requirements. Most of the cards that have me put an informant out, once I use it for that event, it is taken out of the game completely. If I'm using, using it as the number at the top, it just goes into my discard pile and will get reused and shuffled. So um, in some instances, it might be better, especially at the beginning of the game, to not burn through all your wonderful event cards since um, so if you use value. them as an event, um, yeah, they they, go from they'll one to get four, completely don't they? discarded. Yeah, here's a four right here. Okay. So using that event would remove that from my the, the game right. so that I couldn't use it to manipulate the tokens on the research okay. track. In addition to that, there's actually some really clever, um, there's quotes down at the bottom, so there's a whole bunch of... Um, historical information. Histor yeah, historical information on these cards um, that, that just makes it interesting. Um, that's an event. There's also some reaction cards, which Lincoln has as well, which are basically an interrupt. So if you're playing some kind of card uh, and it follows into whatever this reaction is, I could maybe use it to stop you from doing um, something, as well as you have reactions to some of the cards. Right. And in this instance, for this card, uh, the reaction would be removed from the game also um, on this particular card. Journalist, um, this wouldn't be removed because it doesn't have this orange line on it telling me to remove it, so I could choose to just take that action and then it goes into my discard pile. Once you work your way down through these cards, you shuffle your discard back up, but the removed stay removed. Well, there are investigation cards, too, that will allow you to take cards that are out of the game yes. back into the game if you need it. I, I believe that's only on the investigation side. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, it can be helpful if you've used something, but I mean, it's one card in a, sta in a stack of cards. Um, you're only going to draw f five uh, as long as you have the initiative at the beginning of the round, and um, the person who doesn't have the, in the initiative will draw four, and we will play back and forth with our cards. Uh, yeah, until we're out of cards. So it's th that'll be the end of each round. That's generally how the cards work. Um, Lincoln, why don't you tell us how the, fa the whole phases of the game work? Sure. In the initial phase, we're going to do, based on initiative, like Nikki had said, we will each draw however many cards that are indicated by the initiative card. So whoever won it in the previous round. Starting the game, it'll be Nikki, she gets five. We each take four and five cards into our hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second phase of the game is the card play. And then the third phase is the evaluation phase, which is where we, after we've mm -hmm. done all the talking uh, back and forth between the players, okay. we determine where things go at the end of the round based on initiative. Okay. So we will first determine, I have my cards here, we will first determine mm -hmm. who has the initiative based on where the token, where this up. token is on the track. Okay. Uh, one thing you did not mention is, is when, anytime a token yeah. gets to the five space, it is immediately placed on the board, including sure. these evidence tokens. Okay. So we, if we, we determine that first, then based on who has initiative, we will turn over these, these tokens will be in their positions if they're in their positions. And let me do it this way just so that you can see what that would be. Um, in starting with the player with the initiative, they're gonna place all the tokens that they have. Let's just do all of these. Okay. And uh, let's do one initiative here so I can explain something there. Okay. The momentum, excuse me. Um, starting, so initiative would get to place all of their tokens mm. first. Okay. Then the other team would get to place their tokens onto the board. All right. For example, Nikki has, um, if she, if, since she has initiative. Right, I would move this here, right? Yeah, that would be just, just to show that's there. Then the momentum, except 
in the case of this, because this would be on my side of the board, let's say, right. she would be able to affect that momentum by having that tile, that influence of that tile, so that would push that back to the Ooh. zero, which would give nobody the momentum that round. Then you would place your tokens, hoping to can make a path between the informants to Nixon. So in this case, you have two yellows, so you I can do. do a pretty good job of getting it started yeah. towards him. Okay. And then, then Nixon would get his chance. So in this case, the Nixon administration did not get to place any uh, the momentum token okay. because it was on the, the neutral area. So any tokens that are here in the neutral area, mm -hmm. any tokens, even if they're face up, go the the token the evidence tokens go back in the bag, and the momentum token token just stays there. So then, the Nixon administration would get to place the one token that if they had one. It needs to still be on one of the colors. In this case, since there's two, I could go right here, which would block this path here for you. I'd go right here, right? Although they're essentially yeah. the same. It's all terrible. If I had something like that, it'd be awful. And then we would set up for the next phase. We would put the tokens back in place. We would put uh, three more evidence tiles, uh, tokens out, and we would take the five cards okay. and start again with the initial phase. So I have a question. Sure. Does every time um, a token that starts from here and starts moving, it gets turned over, Everyone right? Everyone gets flipped over, including... Even if it's going absolutely. towards you? So I'll yeah. know Which what, one you're, I put away. what you're blocking? There, there okay. could be something... I mean, I know... I, I remember... We've played this game a couple times. I remember that the uh, Washington Post, the editors, have ones where they can draw a token yeah. out of the bag immediately and place it. I don't right. know if there's something like that um, for the Nixon administration. There okay. could be, potentially. Um, but that's basically it. It's very simple. Nikki's very, there's really only two winning conditions. If I get five momentum tokens here, the, the fifth one, I win the game. Okay. Uh, there's a chance that I could win the game if there are no tokens, uh, momentum tokens left, like they're all out on the board. So Nikki has five and I have four, then the Nixon administration wins as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki wins the game by making a connection between two informants to the Nixon administration. And you can sure. do something like, Potentially having like a Y where you have, let's say this is green. I oh, will go this way. So blue, right? No, green's better. Um, well, you have to have that one of those colors that ought to be green. Right. Let me just show it because it's actually kind yeah, of interesting. It's interesting. So if you had this and then you had two green tokens, you could both re lead the path to Nixon for the, from those right. two informants. So that's interesting. Of course, I would do my best as the tricky Nixon administration <laughs> to prevent that from happening. But uh, we'll see. We'll sure. See. And you have to have the, the informant, yeah. of course. informants need to be faced up, and you have to place them on the position on the board that says their name. So mm -hmm. this is Mitchell, Dean, Sloan, and all, all of that. So right. and I might have put them on the board face down, which yeah. would be bad, too, for you. Um, so that's how these go. Uh, he is Alfred Baldwin, so he would go here. But if Lincoln had been able to get it out on the board before me, He's got it blocked off. I can't use that informant. I, the card that happens to be in my um, stack will, uh, the top corner with the moving of the momentum uh, initiative are, will be the only part of that card that will be worth Anything using. Anything to, yeah, you wouldn't Anything throw it out though, that'd be good. No. Well, I, could, I wouldn't throw it out because the throwing out condition is putting him onto the board, so. That card would right, stay exactly, in my yeah, deck, exactly. but it would only be for moving these. Um, well, items. you have the initiative. Let's shuffle our cards. Okay. I also have some special oh, actions true. here. Um, Lincoln mentioned the uh, red uh, momentum, momentum token. tokens. If he gets to five, he wins. And then the, the small condition that if there are no more momentum tokens to put out, then he would win the game. The reason why there would be no more momentum tokens is if I happen to get some onto my um, my board. Uh, the up first, to, yeah, you need to get all five of them, I think, for me to stop not be able up, to make it. Uh, the first two don't give me any kind of special, in, um, anything special. But three through five give me some special actions. Um, if I can manage to get get those momentum tokens onto my little player board here. Um, the other interesting thing about this game I like to point out is that if you are playing Nixon, the board orientation is always towards the journalists. So it's always going to be upside down for the player playing the Nixon administration. Okay. <laughs> well, that's why Nikki's playing the, uh, the uh, editorial yeah. staff of the Washington <laughs> Post, because she sits on that side of the board. Yeah. Um, 
Cool. Well, let's get our five oh, uh, cards. Or your, I get four Oh, cards. I got a shuffle. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my shuffling. I'll take the ones that I showed. Yeah, this is a fun game. It's. I definitely like how it works. Simple, but pretty, uh, pretty neat. Oh, the tug of wars. Yep. Oops. I want to do five. Can I do that somehow? Whoa. I'm yeah, having, I see your cards. I'm having shuffling trouble. And who goes first? Starting with the player with the initiative, known as you in this known game. Known right as now. me. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, a couple things though that we should know before we start. Sure. If the initiative is on the zero, mm -hmm. and whoever has the initiative, it will go to the player who did okay. not have it that round. And you I'll gotta peek. look at them. Then so I'll peek. Yes. I will look at my cards. Okay. Starting with you. Okay. Um. Are any of those yellow? There you go. Okay, so it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna move the momentum token four. Okay. Um. We'll move it two back. One, two. I'll go back three. <laughs> One, two, three. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, well then. Are any of the evidence uh, green? Okay. One, two, three. Ah. It's not going to move the momentum because you already captured mm -hmm. it. I'm going to play the conspirator Bob Haldeman. He moves all the tokens, each evidence token one. Even these? Okay. Yep. Hmm. I'm going to play this and move this one. Can I move that one or does it have to be a it's, rainbow? It's, no, it, okay. it's going to be yellow. One. It's either yellow or whatever. Okay. I'll move the initiative two. All right. Well, I, there's no reason for me to fight over that because it's going to change anyways, right? Oh, no, it could come back to you if it gets over if here, I then gets, it's yours. Okay, I will do three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, well, this one goes back in the bag. All right. You get initiative, put out another momentum token. Oop. Okay. You get to put those two away right. since you have the initiative. All right. Um, green. Did I play woods already? Nope. Yes. Let's go over here. And the yellow I'll just put right there. No, that's a terrible spot. We'll put it there. Okay. Okay. Why is it terrible? Aren't they about the same? Uh, this wasn't... Uh, I put it here and it wasn't yeah, attached. I think do there, but oh, it's okay. Fine. Okay. So we put out three uh, evidence tokens. Okay. I get five cards again. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. You get four. Okay, I'm gonna put out Alexander Butterfield. So he's right here. Uh, pin his picture face up to the evidence board on the research track, move the initiative or the momentum two steps. So I will go one, two, place him here and his quote. What would be the best way to reconstruct the Conversations, Mr. Butterfield, in the President's Oval Office. 
Well, the obvious manner, Mr. Dash, to obtain the tape and play it. Ta-da. Oh. Ta -da, ta -da. Take that out. I'm going to play Chuck Colson. You're going to have to discard a card. Okay. Random card from your hand. There you go. All right. And it's my turn again. Okay, I'm going to then play the conspirator, John. Er hey, I, read, I did this. When I complained to Colson, I felt confident that something would be done. I was rarely disappointed, Richard Nixon. Okay, John Ehrlichman, on the research track, move the initiative token and the momentum token two, to uh, two, two steps each. Move wow. one face down token from the research track and return to the bag. So I'll move these two each. Okay. And then uh, one face down, Nikki has green, right? I would like to try to stop green from happening. Okay. Ta-da. ta -da. All right, then. Um, are any of those evidence uh, yellow? Okay, so then there goes one, two. Okay. I'll move this two, the momentum token two. I will move the momentum four. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm gonna place an event. The president speaks, draw one as evidence token from the bag and place it face up on your three space of the, your research oh, nice. track. Um, okay, the only thing I can do is move something to. So, one, two. Okay, initiative switches to me, because it's on the zero. Sure. Uh, I get to place first. Um, hmm. I guess here. You get to throw this away. Oh, yeah, that goes back in the bag. It yeah. was thrown away. It wasn't yellow anyway. It might have been yellow. <laughs> and it then, was not green. All right, this is silliness. That goes one more because of mm -hmm. that, but whatever. Um, I guess I'll go there. Mm -hmm. That goes there, but does nothing. Right, yet. Yet. Okay. We got a new one of these out. Yep. Oops, darn it. You gotta remember the rounded side is up. Yeah, oh, that's correct. No, I'm it's sorry. correct. No, no, no. You don't have to block your eyes. It's silly. I got. I just need to pull them out of the bag correctly. Two, three, four. Did you look at them? No, okay. I'll take a peek. You don't. Don't worry about it. No, it's a, It's just safer this way. Okie dokie. Your turn. Or no, no, my turn. It's your turn. Let me look then. Operation Gemstone. On the research track, move the momentum token and two evidence mm. tokens, two steps each. Um, dot, dot, dot. And the involved blackback operations, kidnapping, providing prostitutes to weaken the opposition, but bugging mugging teams. Wow, I don't even know what's going on I here, but it's know. a whole that lot of bad. sounds bad. So I'm going to move two of these two. Uh, what do I want to move to? That one for sure. And... Wow, okay. And that one. You get to see those now. Okay. And the momentum, right? Yeah, I think you could move momentum it. Momentum two, two. One, two. Yep. I think, yep. Okay. Okay. I am going to use the journalist, Bod Wood Woodward, um, and use it as its action. So I draw one event token from the bag. And I place it face up, two steps mm -hmm. down on the track. And then on the research track, I move either the initiative or the momentum two steps. So one, two. 
and that goes there. Okie dokie. Hmm. Well, he's already out of the picture. I'm going to move the momentum four. Ooh, okay. Um, I think I already have to use this special card. This event, the smoking gun. Uh, on the research track, move the initiative token two steps, one, two. Um, move the momentum two, one, two. And move uh, a face down uh, token, one. token one. And then that uses up that card. Put that oh, over. I did not read the text. It is blue. Uh, dot, dot, dot. They should call the FBI in and say that we wish for the, that we wish for the country don't go any further into this case, period. Nixon to Haldeman six days after the Watergate burglary. Hmm. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to play Conspirator Howard Hunt. On the research track, move the momentum token two steps. One, two. Okay. Then draw one card from your draw deck and play it immediately, choosing its value as uh, its value or action part as usual. Wow. Howard Hunt. Okay. I wish so, I had uh, a one card here. Interrupt or something. Okie dokie. What do I got in my hand <laughs> here? Uh, not great. Um... Hmm. I will. I mean, it's. Hmm. Couldn't you use it not as its event part? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty great. Why don't you just slide that off? I mean, unless the event's awesome. Oh, you're talking about the momentum. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just, um, it's McCord. It's one of the uh, informants. Uh, I'm just trying to decide whether, I mean, he's way down here. I want to decide whether I need to worry about it or not. I mean, I'm blocking you. You don't even yeah. have Baldwin out yet. I don't. Um, but I, if I do get him out, I'm only one away. For sure. I mean, believe me, if I move this to here, um, which I might, it can I can immediately block it there. Yeah. So then you'd have to go two if you get that out. Which I think or I'm going to do. Or this way around. That's true. Well, they're but both. That's three, they're still three. Yeah. But that's two. I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four. Boom. Okay. So that's gonna go face down right here. Okay. And that's all that card did. Yeah, because it's. I'm just using it as a four. Oh. Right. I'm using a blue, a yellow. Oh, okay. To move four. Oh, that momentum is bad. move that uh, that's not good either oh Lincoln um, um, wow I get I don't know this is just a I don't ah <laughs> <laughs> I will move it one, two, one, two. Okie dokie. Um, I'll just move it to. Oh, you're going to just take it off the. Dang it. Here's my. Do I move this one, two, which would negate that? Or do I just move this one to? Maybe I play it as Dean. Sure, why not get another guy out? I don't. Urgh. Let's see what happens. One, two. Okay, because I'm going to play that as John Dean. <laughs> And he's screwed. That's up. insane. <laughs> okay. Come on. I'm, that's what it is. So okay. you get the initiative. So starting with you. This goes All back right. in the bag. Yeah. 
you get that on your sure, Nixon. But then it's really your you're doing your initiative. Oh first. sure. I guess that we do those first, then you do the tokens. Man, the initiative. boo. Yeah, I didn't want to do, use that, but when it, still, I know. That I was happy really, you chose not to go that route. That really paid off for you. Yeah, I guess that's there. it. Okie dokie. Put out another one of these initiatives over here. Man. Uh, it's not like I've got the initiative bag, the momentum in the bag here. <sighs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. I don't get five. Did you um, look at your things? Sure did. Okay. I didn't even notice. I was getting ready to block. Hmm. That's boo. Um, well, let's do it right out the gate. Are any of the evidence green? For sure. Okay, that goes three. Out. Okay. Baldwin is going out face down. <laughs> Boo. Okay. Pin his picture of the face down the evidence board on the research track, move the initiative or the momentum token one step. Sure. And then says, remove this card from the game. Well, we've got problems. We've got some people dressed casually and they've got guns. Baldwin trying to warn the burglars over walkie talkie. Wow. Okie dokie. I'm afraid of what you might do. Uh, so if I play this as a three, I take it right it's off done. the track and place it's connected. it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna play the event Cancer on the Presidency. On the research track, move one evidence token three steps. Should have done that one the last round. Mm. Let's move that one, three. Then the round ends immediately. Oh. So we have a cancer within, cancer. we have a cancer within close to the presidency that's growing. It's growing daily. John Dean to Nixon on one of the Nixon White House tapes. So that's it, we dump our cards. Wow, and that gets turned over just yep, so I can which see I'm what... I'm going to put down here. It's okay. done. Yeah, the game's yeah I know. I'm I don't want you getting out boom boom to woods there real quickly. Okay. Um, so, initiative switches back to me. Yes. This okay. goes back in the bag. I get this over here. Yeah. We put out a new one. We draw... I draw five, you draw four. four. I got two. I got a shuffle. Yeah, I do two. I do two. That was that's a crazy card, and you played it. I think at the a really good. Had moment. I done it one turn earlier, I would have, I would have ended it. Uh, there was another one too. I had another card that would have been good too. If well, I'd whatever. Done it one You're turn already earlier. on four. This is crazy. I'm already on three. Well, I mean, you're Next two away. Yeah, yeah. But I do have a. Yeah. I gotta remember. I have a guy connected. I mean that's the that's the lure of those cards. Sometimes I believe that one is a pretty good one that I yeah. just used as points. Let me look. It is Baldwin, correct? I had a oh, no, card. It's Butterfield. He's a four. Oh. I think I might have played him as a four. I mean that's a super tempting card to not play, I and know. I should have. I think I might have just before played that card. I was. I had a card that I would bring. Not everything back to zero, but a lot of it back to zero. But I thought I could hold on to it for one more. But right. <laughs> so it's good you ended it. It would have been really awful. Okay, so I need three more. One, two, three. Yeah. Really got to pay attention to that switching. I do anyway. Four. Four, four. Pull out your three. Oh yeah. Those are important too. They're very important. Uh, 
Okay, let me peek. Okay. And you go first. You go first. You go first. Hmm. Nope. Wow. Okay, we're going to play Conspirator <laughs> Chuck Colson. The editor must discard one random card from their hand to the discard pile, then it is your turn again. When I complained to Colson, I think I said this one, I felt confident that something would get would be done. I was rarely disappointed. So done one of these random... Okay. That was a reaction. I thought about playing it right now, but no, then I'm like, mm, it's no. It's my turn again. Um, so I'm gonna play Conspirator Bob Haldeman. Yeah, wait. Their investigation is now leading to into some productive areas because they've been able to trace the money, not through the money itself, but through the bank. Haldeman updating Nixon on the FBI investigation. So, I move each evidence token one step. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> that would be a great card. If, and only if. All right. What do I want to do? I need to move one of these things. They're not like the other. They're not like the other. Um, I'm going to do this and move this three. One, two, three. Okay. What should I do? That's a pretty great move there. Uh, event. Okay. A third rate burglary attempt. On the research track, move one evidence token back to the zero space. What, okay. one, what one would I like to have go back? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That one. Okay. Really? I mean, what difference does it make? You've got to get around. This isn't, you got to get a, you need to. I was just looking at it for that. Yeah, it's okay. Um, you'll see. Uh, <laughs> one of us took it back to the space. And the momentum token to the one space on your side. On your side? Yeah. So that is that. It says, third rate burglary attempt. Certain elements may try to stretch this beyond what it is. White House spokesman Ron Ziegler playing down the Watergate break in two days after it occurred. That is discarded. Mm. Okay. Dang. My hand is not that great this turn, by the way. Yeah, neither is um, me. Well, you seem to be making it work. <laughs> I mean, that was great. I didn't I even know. read that. I thought it was one token, one space. Right. Two, but two to the one is amazing. Here's the deal. You cannot have that on that side. So even though this is a meager two... I am going to play the gambit. Move the momentum token to the phi space on your side of the research track. And then I have to, uh, hmm. I think I'm just going to let it go out of the game. Because the choice is, is I can either remove the card from the game or remove one conspirator in your hand from the game. But this is not going to come in back in my hand. So I'm going to discard it. This goes to the five. Wow. I'm going to go there. I can say categorically that no one in the White House staff, no one in this administration presently employed was involved in this very bizarre incident. Richard M. Nixon. Okay, your turn. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I am going to do the journalist again. Mm -hmm. Bob um, Woodward? Yes. Should I read his quote again? Did I read his quote? Uh, well, do what it says. Read what it says. Do what it says. I'm it... going to draw one evidence token from the bag. Yep. I place it face up on the t uh, two. That's not a color I was hoping for. Um, boo. On your side of the track. And then on the research track, move either the initiative token or the momentum token um, to... Uh, two steps, so okay, one, okay. two. I was hoping to move one of those, but right. that's all I got. Hmm.
I am going to play Conspirator Gordon Liddy as what it is. Remove one face-up token from the research track and return to the bag. Boom. Oh. Okay, starting this with an initiative for you. You're painful. <laughs> okay, really so bad. this switches yep. back. I'm going to put it there. That goes back in the bag. Yep. You get to block two spaces. Yep. So I will block this. Other way. Oh, yeah. Scratched out. And I will block this. Well, you're not going anywhere with that. What am I doing? Um, I know what I'll do. I'll block this. Mm -hmm. And I will block this. In case you get uh, slown out. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. We draw, we put out another momentum token, we put the initiative there, you draw four, five, and I draw four. Four. Starting with you, Nick P. Uh, you Washington you, posters. Oh, three. yeah, three tokens. I know. I'm doing this again. You need to like not flip it so it's visible. I got it all blocked okay. with my cards. I will peek in a moment, but I want to just I want them to come out the correct way so it's not completely invisible. Okay. You kind of need to get people on the board. You think? Really badly. I know I do. And I flipped up my cards backwards. Hooray. I didn't look at them. I'm still it's, it's in okay. blocking view. It's in blocking mode. I, I've got them set. I can't see those and I can't see your cards. You ready? Yeah, I'm going to look here and see if there's something I want to like try to go for. Okay, well, I have to, it's obvious what I have to do. Let me see if I have anything to block you. You will block me. Are you going to block <laughs> me? Should I wait a little bit so you maybe burn that card? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm going to do it anyways. We'll see what you happens. Uh, I've got Hugh Sloan. He's the best I can do. Um, so, Hugh. I am you. Hugh. Let me look at these again. Okay. I pin him face up over here. Yep. And... Uh, on the research track, I move the initiative token or the momentum token one step. And his quote. Dun, da, 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 da. Mitchell had to know of the funds. You just don't give out that kind of money without the head of the campaign knowing what it's what's going on. Going what I'm sorry, what it's going for especially when his people are getting the cash. Give me the cash. Give me the cash, and that's discarded. Okay, since uh, Butterfield has been removed from play for me, okay. he's already ratted out on me. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. move. Oh, uh, wait, I got a reaction. Okie dokie. Oh, no, can't do it. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four. Your turn. Mm. Lincoln. I know, you've got to worry about it, because... Yeah, you're about to, ugh, oof. Take one face up. Um, <laughs> that doesn't stop your momentum. Oh, come on. Bootacular. I'm going to use him and move one, two. Okie dokie. Yeah, since I got him out of the game I, for I just, you. yeah, I can't. It'd be cool if this card was like, or turn him face up, or return him to, to the draw. I don't know, something. Whatever, he's sticking up for you. Okay. I am going to play presidential election okay. on the research track. Mm, do I care about that? 
No. I don't know. I'm going to move the Is momentum Is he a conspirator? Two. Nope. Uh -huh. One, two. Wow. You're making me use cards for dumb stuff. I know. It's terrible, right? Because you got to worry about the momentum. I would really like to get some of these going, but I have to worry about that. You just need to do a uh, blue green and a blue. But spending that time to do that means yeah, that. you're maybe yeah. going to get it off the track on your turn. So I will do this. One, two. Okie dokie. I'll move it back three. One, two, three. All right. One. Okay. What shall I do? Did you, what was, is that, is that, uh, no, it's not the one. What? I am going to just move it to, I'm not going to play him as a conspirator. <laughs> one, two, right? Is that what you had was a conspirator card? No. Oh, you had gotten rid of it? Here you go. One. Okay. You still win. Okay, boo. Okay. Well, there you go. So starting with the initiative, it switches to me. Uh, these go in the bag and I place the fifth one there. Interesting. Those all get yep, they all go back in the bag. And that's that. That is that. Huh. That was a hard one for you. I yeah. mean, I actually did things I've never done in this game. Well, that's not true. Uh, I did block. I just flipped some people over. I know. Because based on what you were doing, I'm like, you know what? I might as well just flip them. Especially this one, right? That was one I didn't want you to get because you were kind of I building a, a, a path. I was very close. Yeah. I know I was almost going to play here, yeah. and I'm, I'm like, wait a second, I don't need to even worry about that one right now. It's down there. And that was why I did those yeah. two. It was tough. You needed these. Mm -hmm. So here, oh, I didn't show you, darn it. This was terrible for you. This blue one. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think this would have been good because it would have been so far around. But there were no blue tokens. Oh. They were green. So there was oh, a green okay. yellow, which is the one I was going to maybe go for yeah. to block that permanently. Or um, a yellow or a green, I think was the other one. I had to try though because of course. even though you had already blocked this, he wasn't here. I, sure. He. But here's the downer. One, two. Blocking it the way because you put this one in advance of getting four. that right. Here's what I had, Lincoln. Though I had nobody to put out. He was already blocked. I right. had nobody on this turn to put out. Right. Believe me, I would <laughs> would have done it. Well, this was the part that was hardest for you though. If you if you had had a blue, you'd have to go all the way around. This yes. Would, or a blue that green. That blocks it. It's annoying. Which there wasn't a blue green. There yeah. wasn't a blue green then. There could have been the next round. Yeah, it would have been all the way. I know. There's that's, no a, that's a huge that's one. That's a huge. Yeah. That's why I was hoping I would get. So basically, Mitchell. basically, what you need to do is you need to do something like you just target. You know that it's potentially going to be blocked, and you just yeah. need to like move that token all the way to the five spot. Yeah. Like it, with all, and of course that's difficult because you sometimes don't have those cards. Well, again, these were horrible numbers too. Yeah, That's I, I had a few <laughs> rounds like that as well. And twos and ones. So what do you think of this one, Nikki P? I enjoy it. We've um, had the opportunity to play it a few times, and every time we play, there's a different... Dynamic going on. There's actually. a different dynamic happening. Um, one time I just was momentum, momentum, yeah. momentum. And I, I kind of gave it up a few times. You, yeah. Okay. You won with, with that. Yeah. Um, well, that's the only way I can win. Yeah. I mean, I could somehow, if I could just put four evidence, face right. down evidence tokens, which you just can't, I mean, that's terrible, but I right. guess you could win the game. But there was a few times where... That's weird. It doesn't say that, though. It says the only way he can yeah. win is, there must be a way to, to win without that, though. Because... If these are out. Right. If I had collected more of these. Right, but that doesn't end the game. If oh, but you, you know what cannot, you can do? If you Th those, can't... Aren't there ones on there that let you flip over some of these tiles? Yes, there is. Yeah. If I can get this going on, which I could never, I got right. one, that's it. Um, it's a draw an yep. event. Yeah, read uh, all of those, actually. Okay, there's the Watergate trial. Draw one event token from the bag and pin it face up to the evidence board. The next one is Watergate hearings. Remove one face down evidence token from the evidence board and return it to the bag. And then the last one is flip one evidence token on the evidence board um, face up. Cool. I had one event in my hand this turn that would take a face down from here and put it on the zero. 
but I was fighting you on this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I knew that this was, once this started to move along here, you had to like folk, you mm -hmm. couldn't just let me do it. Um, but it's cool. Yeah, where is that one? Oh, I, it was one of them, this one. Um, no, I guess it wasn't this turn. Okay. But one of them was to take one of these and put it in the zero. But that wasn't going to help. Take one of these that are flipped? Yeah. Wow. That's and, powerful. And um, This is the one you would want to do. Yeah. I guess just to get away the block, but my thinking but was... But here's the thing. I if you want... put that back on the zero, it's blue again, right? It's a chance for you to, like, place that. Maybe. Maybe. If I mean, I'm able again, to move it. that's part of the whole, I think you need to go crazy and go for it. I thought very hard about this round to just go for this. Mm. And it was, it, it occurred to me that it was probably better. I think I'm, my initial play was to move it this way so that you had to focus on it and mm. then was co contemplating that. Sure. But all of these cards are neat. I mean, I thought about doing this event, but it doesn't stop the momentum. It only stops the, ev it moves the evidence back to zero and it moves the initiative. But it didn't, it didn't move, move the, the momentum. momentum, and I was right. really hoping I could play this to move the momentum back to zero. Well, Nikki has beat me as the post before. I have. Twice. Yeah. Um, and I have won as Nixon twice. <laughs> and I, I really like the game. It's hard. Uh, Nixon seems to be pretty powerful, too, but clearly it's not a, f a foregone conclusion mm -hmm. that, you, it, that Nixon's going to succeed. I mean, uh, you know, the, the tricky, tricky Nixon... Um, <laughs> made it made it this time yeah uh, but it's not it's not always easy and there's some really fantastic cards on both sides yeah. of the uh, board that really can change things up I really love the tug of war I like I like mixing it up I, I mean I as I said I played one game with Nikki that I was just focusing on the momentum mm -hmm. um, I think I've won Nixon I think we played this five times I think Maybe. I won one time I won as Nixon once I'll tell about that in a minute and then I won uh, is that right? I think I actually have only won this twice, so I think we've I think we've only played it four times. Okay. Yeah, because I I I, uh, I I won it here. I don't know. We played it four or five times. Yeah. It's really good. I just like that there's ways to you know, y the the lure of playing some of these like I like I said I kept Butterfield, and I shouldn't have. I mean, not that it ended up mattering, but. Uh, he was four. He was a four. Yeah. It was like, oh, I can't resist just making that momentum move four spaces, and then boom, Nikki plays it, and it's a quick trip to the to Nixon on those. You know, it's really not that far, provided I haven't blocked anything yet. Um, There's the card I was talking about. What one's that one? The, uh, the Carl other. Burns. Oh yeah. Okay. What was Take this? one face down or face up evidence token from the evidence board and place it face up onto the zero space on the research track. That's a so great I could card. Have Your, some... Woodward showed up a lot, but that one did yeah, not. You should have made that one be... I, I could have unblocked something. Yeah, absolutely. That would have been beneficial here before that, right? Sure. You might have gone for... I don't know if you had that show up and it just didn't come back into your hand. Um, no, I kept wanting to... I'm like, oh, if I could... Eh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Once if that I could, happened. And when mm -hmm. I made the comment about, I wish there was something that that allowed me to, to turn, flip those. Like, yes, that was when I was looking at this card. Yeah, the Butterfield one is way crazy, but you know it's not. That, I mean, it's the, you know the second half of these cards on the event is also pretty helpful because usually it's moving momentum or initiative, yeah. uh, or either or. Um, I uh, I really really like this. So we had an opportunity to play this. Uh, a little while back with Trey Parker, and he taught us. Yes. It was, he really, really wanted us to play the game, and there were five of us playing games that night, yeah. and he wanted us to play. So he started off like, hey, Lincoln, and, you know, doing the game yeah. thing, and I'm like, yes, Trey, will you teach us water <laughs> game? And it's phenomenal. He was yeah. so excited about this game, but he wanted us to tell you that because he is a serious gamer, and he truly is a serious yes. gamer. Um, he wouldn't even let us see his collection. I guess it's so massive. <laughs> um, but and it's it's in disarray. I understand the disarray collection thing. It's hard to keep to keep uh, manage it when you yeah. acquire quite a bit of games. So the way we played that was. Um, oh yeah, Trey was he, helping. He taught kinda and he helped me he helped Nikki. Uh, play the post. He and, he and, he and Nikki yeah. were frustrated because that was the one I won as Nixon. Yes, you did. <laughs> I haven't played Nixon yet. I know. Now that we've done this yeah, that, a yeah, bunch, no, yeah. I would like to try Absolutely to play Nixon. And, and you've never out. played the post. I've never played the so. post. I've always played Nixon. 
um, yeah, we the initial time that's what Trey wanted, and then since then what we played it in preparation for this, and we wanted Nikki to be in the teaching position, and we always orient everything to the teaching side of the board, and when it's that way in this game, yeah. you're going to be the uh, the post, right, uh, or the editors, which is fine because familiarity with the oh, cards is always Absolutely. good too. But yeah, I love it. The theme is crazy. We didn't mention in the book there is yes. an overview of e historical o uh, overview of each of the cards, right. And there is a little bit of information about some of the cards when you need help with them, understanding them. Yeah. There was actually one card in here that we were surprised wasn't, wasn't in here, but it was pretty, ultimately when we reread yeah. the card a third time, it was pretty clear. I want to point out, though, that all of this is just to read about the history of it. Yeah. Anything well, in the pink is helping you with the cards. Right. So most of all of these are just explaining history, and these are card explanations, sure. just the pink. So it's not like you're Phil, overwhelmed. Philip Millman did all the, 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 the historical stuff. I mean, the historical stuff's important because a lot of people yeah. don't even know what happened yes. uh, with the Watergate uh, investigation. And, um, and it's very important because sure. it's one of the major moments in history Absolutely. Um, for U.S. presidency. Yeah, um, and, and, and the, the cool thing is, is like, this is a German publisher, <laughs> you know, with a fantastic German designer, Matthias Kramer, and they did a really thematically rich game that plays quickly and is relatively simple. You, it's not too hard to play it correctly, you know, yeah. where some of these can get a little tricky. Even in this game, there's a couple of tricky ones. Yeah. Um, it, it has to be, it's a tricky dick, but, um, but it's fantastic. Like anything, you gotta yeah. make sure that you're paying attention to the amount of cards um, you draw. I've been guilty of just because I'd been drawing five, draw five, and it's and I'm on the and I'm not the initiative position. I'm the four position. So um, for me, paying attention to that is important. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Also, I want to just comment on how great this game looks. It's so oh, yeah. fantastic looking on the board. It looks real. The the yeah. pins being, the positions of the pins and everything just look le so legit. Sure. It's fantastic. Really, really, uh, really, really great uh, production on this right. one. Right. And I like, the, I like the idea behind it where it's, it's pieces of paper, it's news clippings, it's all this, this looks like a marker that... M yeah, yeah, scribbled out. You know, scribbled out, oh, we can't get to this person. Right. It feels like an investigation, sort of. There's coffee stains. Yeah. There's attention to detail um, in the graphics that, that is... It, it really makes it interesting. And I love that the quotes are here. These are actually readable. I never really read them, but they're actually... The newspaper clippings legible. are legible. Um, yeah, the other cool thing I didn't, I don't know if we mentioned, is this. Yeah. Having the five position is really, it's super tempting to yeah. go for that. Yes. I mean, I mentioned here where I was trying to go for that, but I just, it is such a neat idea on the track. Like, hey, if you want to make sure something happens, you could just yeah. put all of, your t all of your attention to that and make it work. Which I rarely do. Um, right. In this game, I did. I slid off one of these um, so I could place it right away. Yeah, absolutely. But, um... Most of the time, <laughs> just worrying about the momentum problem. Absolutely. Um, but when I do do it or think about it, I'm like, yes, why don't I use this more often? It's really great. Right. To just be able to lock it down because I don't know what your cards do. And it, at some turning points in the game, you're really worried. Well, oh, I know. If this I could get up, this, but if he can more, drag more it. More knowledge of the game only makes it yeah. more terrifying. More, right? yeah. I mean, it's already scary enough not knowing what the other deck is, but when you don't, when you know things are there and they could turn up, it's very worrisome. Mm -hmm. I think even the rules, I can't remember exactly, but the, the green is a certain type of evidence. The yellow is always blueprints of the hotel. So anything that's yellow is blueprints of the hotel and have to do with the hotel. It's interesting. Oh, really? Yes. And I forgot what the blue was, but each of these in the rules it explains. Well, it would tell you what Baldwin is, but I maybe not. Yeah. I can't, okay. Mr. Butterfield. Oh, would I say Baldwin Butterfield? Um, so we can check this conference. Oh, no, he's over here on this side. That's not a yellow one. So I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I think this is the manu... Oh, it's the tapes. It's the... Anything related uh, to the tapes? Anything related to the, the manuscripts of the tapes. Nixon White House tapes. There you go. And then this... Committee for the Re-Election of the President? 
Yeah. And that's the And that's plumbers, plumbers. which is the guys that broke in. Oh, okay. So it's the blueprints. They were called the plumbers. I get it. I get it. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, cool, Nikki. (laughs) Thanks for helping me learn this game. (laughs) Well, you helped me too. I know. So thank you, Lincoln. And if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell. And we'll see you the next time.